It's said many times that data is more valuable than oil. But as the case is with oil, the value is only there when you refine it and use it. However, while we all don't have oil in our backyards, we all have access to an abundance of data. But as with oil, you will only realize the value once you refine it. In the old days, you'd get the structure and overview of your data by consolidating it all into one large database, the big source of truth. But with the amount of data being generated every minute from so many different sources, this is no longer a valid option, a viable option. Welcome to a few important minutes on master data management. I believe you need to have a basic understanding of all the tools and tricks of the trade in and around the business and industry you're in. Which is why I made the Fredericks Fives, a series of five minute introductions to the digital tools and concept that matters the most. You work with master data management to create trusted data for the firm to use. If you cannot trust your data, you cannot rely on the information you're getting from the data. And if you cannot rely on the information your data is giving you, you cannot run the company effectively. Master data is not, as the word implies, the actual data, but a pointer to where the single source of truth for a specific data set can be found. For example, your customer data may be stored in multiple locations. One database used for customer self-service online, another database holding information of past purchases and open orders, and one database used by sales to identify new sales opportunities. If the customer email address is changed by the customer in the self-service portal, you need to ensure this change is reflected in all other databases as well. In old days, which is not so long ago in the digital age, You'll simply copy the chains out to the databases, but this is no longer a viable solution. With the speed of change and sheer volume of available data, your servers would spend all time replicating data between each other instead of enabling the business to actively use the data for insights and next big actions. You'd also face the problem of what data update is the right one. If your customer changes phone number in the self-service portal at the same time a sales representative is doing it in the CRM system, how will you know which is the right number to replicate in the databases? Master data management solves this problem by holding information about the golden records of, in this case, the customer. The golden record contains essential information about the data the company relies on and is therefore the single source of truth for that data set. This could be for products, customers, locations, suppliers, and so on. Remember, this golden record would not hold the actual data, but have all the information needed to retrieve the data from the right databases in the organization. The data required to complete a golden record, for example, about a product, would in most cases be scattered across many databases, which is perfectly okay, because the golden record holds the information about where to find the correct information of the data. Working with master data management and golden records makes it possible to add a central data governance function that will ensure consistency, accuracy, and even accountability for the correctness of the data across the organization's different business units and teams. It is not just a way of storing data, it is also a way of securing the firm works with the data in the right manner so the data is always updated, compliant, and in the best possible quality. A master data management strategy consists of the definitions of the golden records for the critical core entities, like customers, partners, products, and so on, and it is at the same time a technology that the firm needs to implement to work with the golden records. I don't think I need to stress the importance of having access to the right data at the right time today. Master Data Management helps you with just that. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified when I post the next Fredrex 5. Bye.